In this section, we'll be looking at how to use console to check the corrosion and the deposits for a cathode and a anode material. So we'll draw our geometry indicating for with both anode and cathode, we use this geometry, one side to represent the anode and another side to represent the cathode. And we are going to illustrate how the stress correction cracking will occur under the geometry. So at the end, we should be able to plot the local current density over a period of time. And also we should also see the stress correction cracking results for this model. So kindly follow to the end. And if there are any questions, please let me know. And please don't forget to subscribe and like the video for me. Thank you. When we move to our model wizard, we then select our space dimension, which will be 2D. We go ahead to electrochemistry, where we want to select corrosion secondary. So we go to corrosion deformed geometry, then we select secondary, corrosion secondary to our work. So we're going to add this physics to our work. This will be using, using a secondary current distribution. Move to our steady, where we choose a time dependent with initialization, which brings us to our interface. So quickly go to our geometry where we add a rectangle. We want to add a rectangle and we want to draw our rectangle. Zero one. Same here. We want to choose the position as minus zero point zero one. Then we go ahead to build our geometry. We go on to add another rectangle to our work where we also make a 0.01. Our height should be this plus a little change. We want to add a little change to our work. So one. So we just want to make a little change to the height and also to the position as well. We want to make a little change to the position as well. If you go on to build selected, as you can see. So we have built our geometry. Go ahead to booleans and we want to make a union out of this. So we select both. We uncheck this. So we want to Join these two to make it one. Those selected and they are joined together as you can see in here. So we can see that we've joined our two rectangles together to form 
single unit. We can load our parameters from our work. We load parameters from file. We'll be using Galvanic corrosion. Using Galvanic corrosion. I'd like to check, search for Galvanic. So these are parameters we found it as galvanic corrosion with deformation, as you can see. We load our parameters. So after forming our geometry, we go on to add an electrode surface to our work. we add an electrode surface where we select where this electrode surface will be. So we select two and four for our electrode surface. We check the species conservation, check that Let's open to check all these sections. Okay. Then we can now go to the electrode reaction. So temperature from the model inputs, the equilibrium potential we put in this expression, right? Also our kinetic expression, we want to use a cathodic tuffle equation where we change our I not exchange current density to this change our anodic current density to this move forward and we go on to add a second electro surface So the second lecture surface will be here. And go to the dissolving species where we add value. We want to name this as MG. Then this is rho MG. Go M, M, G. So that's what we change in here. After we go to the electrode reaction. where we number of participating electrons we make it two. We set this to be one. We set the equilibrium potential to be this. 
kinetic expression is sorry, it's made of the anodic tuffel, which will be I O underscore. And this is anodic, which will be A and as shown. Add a limiting current density, which will define as I L I M. Anodic as shown as we've done in here. So that's that's for the electrode reaction. So we want to check what we did earlier. I want to cross check and see if it actually named everything as supposed to be. Our electrolytes itself we go to electrolyte conductivity where we make this user defined and this has to be sigma as shown go to our uh, multiphysics deformed deforming deformed geometry check Uh, the form geometry so tense sets in here with geometry deformation also sets into the non form your boundary for the initial go to the second Want to select only five. So we want to select only five for this. So. We want to select only five for the deforming electrode surface. And we want to, for the non-deforming non boundary will be the rest as shown here. So we go on to check uh, isolation, everything sets, then we can proceed to check our, our time that we want to set. We want to set our time from zero to 12 times and we want to end at the times 24 as shown this could be very clear for us
So we can go ahead and compute our work. which generates our results as shown in here. So we've been able to generate our results as shown in here. We want to add a 1D plot group. On the plot group to our work. Which we want to add a line graph. Now one the plot group. So we want to select the data set from our steady solution. One. Want it from the remeshed. Want to select as you selected our solution, steady solution one. Your solver you check our uh, meshed. Okay. So actually we wanted to, in our time dependent, wanted to make the steady extension an automatic remission. So I have actually gone there to do automatic remission and want to compute it again so that we can get that result because we need a remeshed solution. So I'm recomputing it so that we can get our remeshed solution. This is very important for our work. I just went to time dependent, came here. Okay, now, so we have our remeshed results. It's very important to allow us to plot our, our results. So now we have our remeshed solution. Now we go to results, we add a 1D plot group and we add line graph. Now we can add our steady remeshed solution. So that was exactly what's needed for our work. So our time selection, we want to select from the first. Now work. And we want to select here. We want to select from two, four and five two, four, five, as shown in here. We want to change our expression in here to cd dot i log under er1. That'll give us the local current density. If we should plot, this is what we have having this plot so i want us to close this space in here then our x axis data wants us to change the parameter to an expression so that we can use an expression of x in here for our work as you can see to actually make it look this way. So we want to duplicate this work and we want to start from last. 
let's plot and see. Okay. So from last, we've had our plots. We were to plot our work. So let's go ahead to open a file for this galvanic corrosion with deformation, which will open and add one to view. As we have seen over here. So we go to want to add physics. We want to add physics to our work, new physics to our work. So we go and we add new physics to our work in here. So our physics, we come to chemical species transport. We go to transport of diluted species. We add to our work. Where we define the variables. We want this to be two, we want our concentration to be C M G. We want this to be C O H as done in here. We want to add a moving interface. That's under mathematics. We add level sets. to our work, go to the parameters. And we want to load from file. We want to load our parameters from file, which will be under deposit corrosion parameters. We've actually added these parameters to this. Our definition is we want to add a step to our work. would mean we want our size of transition to be this. So we want to add variables, which will actually load from file. We want under deposits creation variables this is not defined but later will be defined later we define as we move on the course of our work definitions we want to add non confidence and general Extrusion as shown in here. We want to select, sorry, we want to select a boundary for that. So select boundary. Our source frame, we want it to be 
this way. We want to use source map. We go to advanced and we want to set the tolerance to the closest point as much as possible. In our general equation, go to our transports of diluted species. We want to change, uncheck this convection. We want to make it migration. We move to transport properties. And we want to define the diffusion coefficient as dm on s dx two plus dm in s dot in fl. And we want to also define okay, so this is one. Okay, now it's defined. The diffusion coefficient as well, DOH S dot VF2 plus DOH E LS V F1. If we start before this, we want to change the electric potential as well. We want to define it as Q. The charge number. Want it to be two and minus one. Initial values two as well. We want to make here C O H O. Sorry, this is zero. As shown here, we go on to want to add reactions. We select our domain and we define a reaction should be. Uh, as delta this also is our it's called OH it's not delta Go to our transport diluted. We want to add concentration to our work. We select boundaries and we define our species to be me, which zero as defined in here.
go to transport and we want to add move to surface reactions we want to add electrode surface coupling choose two and four for our electrode surface coupling the reactions coefficient we want to change this to uh, local current density for this has to be local current density number of participating electrons we want four and so the section two we want it to be four go on to add surface reactions and we want to add another electrode surface coupling so this is a second surface coupling that i add in we select we go to the reactions. Same here, we choose the second region. The number we want to for this section, and we want to start from negative one in here. Close, go to the level sets. We want to look at the level sets model. Where we define the reinitialization parameter. It should be this max. as shown in here. So we define our parameter for the reinitialization. In this side, we also have to define the parameter for the controlling interface thickness, which should be LSHM. Well, we set the velocity field to this value. We set this to this value. expression move to the initial values and we set it as the fluid too we want to add an inlet the inlets we select we select two four and five And we go on to add, once we've added it, an inlet, we have to add an outlet. Very, very important. What's that audio? So we want to add an outlet. So after selecting our outlet, we need to select 
which area our, our outlet will be because we've already chosen where our inlet will be. So we select the outlet and the outlet will be the outer areas will be from three, six, seven, and one. That will be our outlet. Go to our second electrode. We want to define our electrolyte conductivity. Add an expression to it. That will be LS dot BF2. F2 plus Sigma F one. V F two V F one plus Go to our mesh. We want to add a bit physics induced. For the first size, you want to make this calibrate for fluid dynamics. As we want to do for the first one, we want a finer one. For the second one, we want Also extremely fine. Want the dynamics extremely fine. Well work. So we move to our free triangle. We want to add, I think we have to add a size to this. Add a size to our free triangle. And this should be in for a boundary. We select two to five for our boundary. Pretty fine should be extremely fine. Let's build and see how it looks like. So, seeing how it looks like for now. We move to 31. We want to uncheck certain areas like the deformed Geometry, we want to uncheck this, we want to uncheck this as well. We want to uncheck these two. And we want to compute. It should take some little time to imp compute. to wait patiently for its computes. Hello. 
so well. Now to wait for it to compute to take some some time to take some time. We we'll wait, we'll wait a while for this to compute. Take some time. We wait a while for it to compute. We wait for some time. Actually taking a while. Taking a lot of time. Really sorry about that. But we can't continue unless we're done computing. So I'll plead with you that we actually wait. I'm sure yours is not also done yet.
So we are we almost 50% through with the computing, still computing. Efficiency rates. So wait, I think we're almost done. Almost done computing. Finally, we're done. That's, that's great. We have our results now. Took about nine minutes. So we click on Neutralize, look at the streamline, and we want to see the positioning. We want to do a separating distance of about, let's make it about 0 0.035. We want to also make the range, okay, the range is 100. We want to plot, let's see. And here we have our results. We go on to uh, the surface to our work. We put an expression as one here. Then we select our coloring. We want it to be uniform. We want our coloring to be uniform. We want it to be gray as well. Go to the surface and we want to add a filter to our work. We want to name this filter as LS. 
that's two, two, one, three to them equal to zero point five. That will be our filter. We want to plot our filter. So when we plot our filter, this what we have. You can see our, our quota in it as shown. I want to add a 2D plot group. We want our data sets from our remesh solution. I think, yeah, we want our data set from our, we want to select our time from about, let's say the last time in here, this is what we want to select. And we want to go ahead and add a surface to our 3, 2D. We want to make, put this expression in here. And we'll go ahead and, and plot. This is what we have. You go ahead and add contour to our work. Contour to, we want to change the expression in here to uh, s dot b f one. And it should be one. Labels should be, we have entry, or then we have labels, with our labels. So let's make our entry mode levels and want this to be 0 0.5 as shown. Let's change our color table to a different color. It's a uniform. Make it black in here. And but so that makes it that brings us to the end of this work and I hope we're able to plot our work, we're able to follow to the end. Thank you. And please kindly subscribe if you haven't. And if you have any questions, please kindly drop them in the comment sections. And don't forget to like the video. Thanks. So we start by going to our model wizard, selecting you. So we, we select our space dimension, we work with the 3D, which we select. Then we come here to select our physics. So we're actually going to use a secondary current distribution for our work. So we go ahead in here, when you we choose under electrochemistry, we have primary and secondary current distribution. We have tertiary current distribution. So we go just under primary and secondary current distribution. We select the secondary current distribution. Then we go ahead to add this. Then we move to our steady, where we have to select our steady. And we'll be dealing with the time dependent steady. So we go ahead to choose time dependent with initialization. 
which we add. So this brings us to our, our interface, our come to interface where we have added our, our selected our physics and our study. So we go ahead to add our parameters. We want to reload from file. We're going to spell console multi physics applications. Then I think we can search the created plating parameters. So when we search for the created, it will quickly search for our parameters, then we load it, we open, we add to our file, as you can see in here. So we've been able to load our file quickly as shown over here. So I think we can go start to build our geometry. We go to geometry, right click, then move to insert sequence, which we go ahead to add. And for our sequence, we'll be using the decorative plating geometry for our sequence. So this is our sequence that we'll be using for our work. So choosing the creative plating geometry sequence, we open, load. Okay, so now we have been able to load our sequence. Then we go ahead to build all. So that builds our geometry as shown in here. Want to show transparency as well. So as you can see in here. So we go to materials. Check for materials also. We'll add our materials later, not now. So you go to secondary current distribution and you want to change the current distribution type. We maintain it as secondary for now. We'll be making some changes as well at, at the electrolytes. Also, we want to change the electrolyte conductivity to user defined. We want to set this to K. Okay. PPA. Yeah. As shown. So we want to go back to secondary current distribution. We want to add an electrode surface where we add to our work. So after adding your lecture surface, you go ahead to choose the domain. So we want to select domain four. This for this where we selected to be our electrode surface in here. So as you can see, there are many sections that we have the film resistance. Now we move down to boundary condition. We have the perturbation amplitude. We have the external electric potential. We have different 
uh, expressions that we can actually change them to for the boundary conditions. We have average current density, total current, and many others that we can actually change. So we are maintaining this to be the electric, electric potential. Now for uh, dissolving depositing species, we want to add. So we go ahead and select this area. This is where we're able to add our species. So click on to add and it has added a species to it. So we have S1 mean density as, as this and molar mass as this. So we've added our dissolving depositing species to the electrode surface in here of our work. So, like I said earlier on, we selected domain four for our electrode surface in here and we went ahead to add the species, but we want to modify the variable for our species. We want to define it based on our parameter. So we go ahead to define it as N I. We want it to be the R O R H O N I. We want this to be molar mass of an I as soon. So we go ahead to open the subdivision for electro surface, then we go on to check the number of participating electrons stoichiometric coefficient for dissolving the persistent species as well. We've seen that what we 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 change when we change the variable over there, it has been defined over here. We want to change the number of participating electrons to two. We want to change this side to one as well. And this is the equation that comes to solve it with. Goes down. Then the equilibrium potential changes to this Q and the N I. Then move on to the electrode kinetics where we want to choose before that we want to choose the local current density so we go to electrode kinetics then we select our expression type to Butler former equation and change this current density to this underscore nickel i and i non nickel and i. So we've changed the current density this side. And move ahead to add, to duplicate this electro surface. So we have a second. Move to the electrode reaction where we compare that before that it has to be changed, the domain has to be changed. It has to be changed to this. That's for the, the second surface and also 
the base has to also change to average as shown over in this expression to has to change to this. as shown in here. Then move back to here. And also the coefficient has to change to one, has to be one. So we go ahead to the electric surface and we want to add a reaction. We've added a reaction. We've added a reaction to this. Okay, so move ahead to the reaction. Then we want to move to the number of participation electrons. We will move to the potential. We also move to the kinetics, we change to cathodic current density has to change to this. Change this section to this. Then we go ahead to the mesh. As shown, we want to change the element size to a finer. We want to build off. We want to build. Go to our time dependence, our current distribution. Initialization. We want to change this current to second U. Then our time dependent. We want to change the output times. Let's change just this section to 60. And 600. Then we go ahead to, we can study now. Compute so we been able to compute and remove to our results. So we move to the selection. We want to select just a particular area, which will be the, the boundary. We want to select this. 
I want to plot to see. So that gives us the thickness change. I want to rename this plot to D posited thickness plateaued. I want to duplicate this. I want to rename as the current efficiency cathode. We named it. Want to look at the surface and also change the expression in here to CD LOC underscore E R. CD dot ITOT. Action. We've changed the expression in here. Then finally, the plot final work. I shown. So that gives us our plots. Our work.